In the geologically active North Island of New Zealand, the pink and white terraces were once a natural spectacle. Located in the Taupo Volcanic Zone, a region within the Pacific Ring of Fire, these terraces were formed by a series of intricate geological processes. The formation of the terraces was deeply intertwined with the volcanic activity characteristic of the Pacific Ring of Fire. This region is known for its frequent seismic events and volcanic eruptions, shaping the landscape over millennia. The terraces were formed by geothermal springs that contained silica-saturated near-neutral pH chloride water. Central to the terraces' formation was the hydrothermal activity beneath the surface. Rainwater percolating through the soil and rock layers reached depths where it was heated by the geothermal energy of the Earth's mantle. The area's proximity to magma chambers due to the active volcanic zone meant that the water not only heated up but also became enriched with minerals, especially silica, leached from the surrounding volcanic rock. The pink and white terrace springs were approximately 1200 metres apart. The white terraces, located at the northeast end of Lake Rotomahana, faced west to northwest. They descended about 25 metres to the lake edge. The pink terraces, on the other hand, were situated on the western shore of the lake, facing east to southeast. Their pink coloration, akin to that of a rainbow trout, resulted from antimony and arsenic sulfites, and they also contained significant amounts of gold. The hydrothermal system powering the terraces was possibly up to 7,000 years old, although the terraces themselves were thought to be around 1,000 years old. The silica precipitation formed pools and steps, creating attractive swimming places. The process included the formation of lips on the terraces that trapped descending flow, as well as the formation of silica steps on surfaces where the thermal layers sloped away from the geysers. As this superheated silica-rich water resurfaced, it encountered cooler temperatures, leading to the silica precipitating out of the water. Over hundreds of years, this process resulted in the accumulation of silica in distinct terrace formations. The white terraces, extensive and prominent, were primarily composed of pure silica, giving them a striking white appearance. The pink terraces, smaller but equally impressive, had their unique coloration likely due to trace minerals or microbial life affecting the silica's appearance. The shape and structure of the terraces were also influenced by the cooling water and its temperature. The rate at which the water flowed over the area and its cooling rate affected how the silica was deposited. This created the terrace's stair-like structure, with each step representing a different phase of silica deposition. The natural basins and pools that formed within the terraces were a result of the erosive force of water and the varying rates of deposition. In 1886, the inherent volcanic instability of the region led to a catastrophic event. Mount Tarawera erupted one of the largest volcanic events in New Zealand's history. This eruption had far-reaching effects on the landscape, including the burial of the pink and white terraces under volcanic ash and debris. The eruption reshaped the topography of the area, including the enlargement of Lake Rotomahana, which covered the original site of the terraces. This eruption created a crater over 100 metres deep, which eventually filled with water to form the new Lake Rotomahana. The rediscovery efforts in the 21st century involving sophisticated mapping techniques led to the reported finding of parts of the terraces under the lake. However, these claims have been met with skepticism and debate among researchers. Post-eruption, the terraces were considered lost, with their grandeur surviving only in paintings and early photographs. However, their story remains a critical part of New Zealand's geological history, illustrating the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the planet's surface. As of 2023, the exact fate and location of the pink and white terraces continue to be a subject of research and debate. The story of these terraces, from their formation to their presumed destruction and the ongoing quest to rediscover them, remains a significant chapter in New Zealand's geological and cultural history. Thanks for watching.